All right, so Alessandro Bernal, you pitched beautifully today. You're my co-player of the game with Breezy um, and Anna K. McLaughlin. The three of you, just, just, the whole team was great. The top of the first was a little bit shaky, right? So to open up with a triple, and then the second batter to get a triple, and then a single, um, what was going through your mind like in that top of the first inning? I mean, I knew they were going to be a good hitting team from the start, so it was just nerve-wracking when they started with the triple, but I just like try to keep it out of my mind and just keep going. Everything looked like it was working today. Uh, I saw you sprinkle the change in there, the drop, the rise, the curve. Um, what was what was your most effective pitch, did you think, today? Uh, probably my rise ball. That's what I got a lot of them to pop out for. And velocity-wise, like, you must have been humming today because you just shut you just shut them down. Like, as the game progressed, you were more and more in control and in command and then racking up strikeouts, like, like how, how satisfying is it for you to pitch so well here in the state playoffs? Um, it's a really good feeling because I put a lot of work into my pitches and just getting the spin right and seeing them like popping up and just like easy ground balls makes me feel good because I know my defense is going to have my back. How are you tracking spin rate? Um, I have the balls with lines on them so I can make sure it's spinning right by reading the lines. Nice. Well, very good. Thank you for joining us today. Congratulations. Best of luck on Tuesday. You could be here. We, we could be here. So we're hoping that you have another home match on Tuesday, but you played, just pitched beautifully today, so congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome. Good job. Breezy, Breezy Hayward, you're one of my co-players of the game today. So I have you, Annika McLaughlin, and Alessandra Bernal. The shot, the home run in the bottom of the second inning. What was the pitch coming into you, and what was your kind of mindset as you saw that pitch? Well, I was going in the plate, like, all right, stay me, do my job, and just hit the ball hard so like, we can score more runs as a team. And I just came in there, and I was like, you know, I'm not going to try to hit him I'm going to let the, if the homework comes, it comes, you know, I'm going to go up there, I'm going to swing hard. And the pitch came, and it was literally the pitches that I like, whether high or inside, or what, I could just drive it. And so I swung, I got my foot down, and I went, and that thing was gone. And it went away but the wind brought it in, so. <laughs> did you uh, did you know as soon as you made contact, like yes. this one's going, this one's going? Yes, like you just had that feeling, like you're just like, oh yeah, this is the one. And then like, I, it made me feel so good because it's my homer number 12 too. I just need one more to the record. All right, perfect. So we're hoping for lucky 13. Yes. Very good. Uh, the top of the lineup, Annika McLaughlin, Aubrey Marks, Kat Adams, table setting for you. Tell me what how what good of a job they did getting on base for you today. Well, Annika and Aubrey always do their job getting on, and that's when I come up there and hit her and score them in. But Coach she wanted to add Kate in, or Kat in today, so she can't get in and hit them, so I can get more RBIs in for my team. And I thought that was a really good idea, because usually a thorough hitter, they wouldn't have pitched me. If you saw the whole game, they threw Kat, all changes and everything, that would have been me. And they didn't know who I was because they're from Phoenix, that unless they keep back to or something. So yeah, I just came in doing my job. I'm like, okay, they're gonna pitch me. They're gonna have a plan to pitch me because they want me to hit the ball. Because I can either hit it far or I'm not gonna hit it at all. I have to like, I'd say, I love the eye. I'm not, it's not eye black, it's eye glitter. Yeah. Eye silver glitter. Yeah, we do it every home game. So like, we have a whole cubby thing dedicated for eye black glitter, seeds, anything you can name it. And each game, we just pick a color. Like, we come in and we're like, okay, the silver cubby will look good with the uniform. We're like, okay, silver today, and the next day we'll do like purple or something. We did it for St. Patrick's Day, we did green with green bows. The silver, the silver looks great. It's just Thank fantastic. Brave Glass came in as a pinch hitter yes. and delivered a two RBI double. Yes. But what what does that say about that freshman and her? That she can come in when we need her and do her job. Yeah, we have a lot of players in the team that we can just count on. Like we don't have no doubt in anyone. They just come in and they know how to do the job and they know how to get it done. And you girls seem very close knit together. Yes, <laughs> we all love each other. <laughs> That's what you need in a team too. Oh, Eric Tatham the great legendary coach, Senegal High School in softball. Tell me about Alessandra Bernal today. She was a little bit shaky at the top of the first. Back-to-back -back triples, RBI, a single. What did she do to get out of that jam and then she just cruised? You know, I, I think that the, 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 their top of the order has been great all year. That girl that used that ball was that you seven hook it. So we knew that they were going to um, come out uh, hot at the top. Um, so we talked about that beforehand. Of course, we wanted to get her out, but um, she, I think that she is. She's in response. I, I can tell right from the beginning, you know, even in that at bat, she gave it that straight leg that she was.
velocity was there. And it took your hat at those girls that could hit, you know, make you look. Now she was, uh, that was the question, right, was, is the velocity going to be there? So you could tell from the beginning the velocity was there. Yes. She was talking about spin rate, which I was just loving to hear from her, like when we talked to her a little bit ago. So I guess the spin rate was there, the velocity was there, the location was there, her mix of pitches was there too. Yeah. So tell us about your catcher and what a great job she did today. Well, well, Emily has been, you know, Emily's a great catcher. We've had her uh, behind the plate at since she was a freshman. And um, from the second that she came out here, um, I, we talked about how she was going to be the one calling pitches. Um, we've always done that here at Sevilla, and um, we just been getting her ear about what kind of hitter she's going to see um, before the game. And um, she just does an outstanding job. And if we see some things during the game that need to be adjusted, we talk about it. But um, she's pretty good. And, uh, she knows what kind of hitter she's facing. She knows what to look for in their stances and in their practice swings. So she's uh, just outstanding. It's all about whether the pitcher gets that location or not. And when they do, what happened today happens. Top lineup was great. Table yeah. setting, right? On the long play, on the marks, cat lineups, be breezy with the bomb, right? So tell me about that top lineup. The whole order, really, the, the at bats seem to be very patient, very deliberative. Um, girls were looking for pitches in their zones, and they were they were aggressive. Well, I don't know if you heard, if you, you guys can't hear me, but during the uh, during the game, I was always I was telling them um, constantly, like a 2-0 pitch, like a 2-0 pitch, no matter what the count was, we were approaching every pitch as a 2-0 count. We, you know, we did that all week, um, just because you know, it's, a, it's a better mindset, a better hitter's count. So we, I think that really helped us as we were moving into the uh, to this game. So um, we're going to continue to do that. You know, look for 2-0 counts because um, they, they really it, it helps them to relax and they you know they crush the ball. As far as the, the top of the lineup goes, we made an adjustment for this game that we hadn't done. Um, all year, and that was we took Cat from the six hole and moved her into the three. Um, actually, Cat started out as the six hole, um, hitting 580. I moved her to the five. We're up a little bit, and you know, she's just always hitting the ball well. So I was like, we, we, you know, let's go ahead and move her to the three. It's easy to the four hole because she can handle that spot. And then if we get out to the top, you know, one, two, three, so be it. Breezy leads off the second inning, and we're, we're off and running. So. Um, I felt like that was a good adjustment. I thought it was great. So, so congratulations. So we have a we have a game on Tuesday. Do we know where? Who? I think it's going to be Cactus Shadows. Uh, you know, Miranda gave him a good run, but I think that it, it, it turned around. Um, that's what I've heard. I, I'm not sure. I haven't heard a final, but I think so. Um, Cactus Shadows is another good team. They're the number two seed. But um, you know, we put up a good fight against uh, Miranda, and Miranda's in for them. So I'm I'm anxious. And looking forward to it. You know, if I bring this team right here, the way we played today, it's going to be a battle on Tuesday. So yeah, best of luck on Tuesday. Eric Tatham and the girls, the Dynamite girls, it's going to get softball. Victoria is here today. On to round two of the state playoffs Tuesday night, right? So we'll let you know. Hopefully it's here, but if it's away, we'll pull you guys. Great catch.